The Avenue Road Estate, Leytonstone, East London, was built in the early 1960s to help solve the severe housing shortage after the Second World War. The flats no longer meet the standards for modern living and cost a lot to maintain. In January 2021, 95% of residents voted in favour of a full regeneration of the Avenue Road Estate. What follows is a snapshot of life at Avenue Road, what the residents and local community think about the regeneration of the estate and its future. I live here with my husband um, and the dog and the cat and the parrot and uh, we've been here for 19 years. My name is Barbara and I live at 1A Rosary Court. To be quite honest, when I first come here I thought I was actually going to be in the flats and uh, that was something I didn't really want and then realised I wasn't, I was on the ground floor. Um, the, the flat, to be quite honest, was in a particularly bad way. Um, we worked really hard to get it up and running. Um, the council did come and do a few repairs, but obviously uh, decorating and things like that, we had to do ourselves. Um, but yes, it was nice because it was on the ground floor. It was nice because it had a garden. So that was, that was a good thing. A lot of things in this garden have been given to me. Most of them, not, they've given me in a bad state and I like to sit and paint them and stick them in the garden, stick flowers in them. Some people give me flowers, some I bought and I'm not green fingered, everybody thinks I am, but I'm not. They just come up every year. I add a few more to them and it just looks like that. I just get a bit upset when being on the ground floor, everybody chucks rubbish down, but you know, it takes me two minutes to pick it up and uh, it doesn't go that bad. Years ago, we used to have a friend that he actually cut out where the bins go and built all my brickwork for me. And he sadly passed away, so yeah. He sort of started me off. I, I'd be sad to go because I like I like my flat, but then everything you have to move on, don't you? My name's Danny Shannon, and I've lived here now for 50 years. On this estate, I've seen so many changes over 50 years, more than anybody. When I first lived here, we could play out, out, out running about and all things like that. It, but uh, you, as I say, you've got the park out there. It's nice to see the kids out there. It's not, it's not as safe as now like it was when we were children. Like we'd be out at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night in the summer. It uh, used to be, and you're safe, you know what I mean? But it's not now, is it, uh, the way things are. I think people that live off the estate, they take one look and go, oh, that's a place where bil um, gangs, violence, there's cry like car crime. We do get the odd one or two dumped cars or vehicles on here, but the area itself is not bad at all. My name's Lorraine. I'm the caretaker of the Avenue Estate. I um, cover the whole area of this estate. Basically, I sweep, clear cobwebs, mop, do weeding, report any damages. 
I like doing them all. All the pipes now are de um, decaying. So all the metal pipes are now getting rusty. They're getting holes. And I know each of these blocks have got some kind of structural problems. But that could also uh, be to do with the rats that are running under the floor. Um, they're running in the building. We, ha we have had um, problems with Rosewood bin room and Blackthorn bin room where it's been unindated with rats. I don't feel totally safe here because being on the ground floor, the security cameras do not cover this area at all. I've had my gate kicked in several times we used to leave the windows open when the hot weather, but one year we left it open and I woke up to find someone trying to climb through my window. So there's no way that you could leave even a window open when you get hot. A lot of people look at the block and say, oh no, I don't want to live there, but it's not the block, it's the residence. If you get on with the residence, if you, if you make um, friends with some of the residents, that is the whole idea of living in a block. It's the residents that make it worth living here, not the looks or the style of the block. For us, community has always been about um, making connections having a, a line that connects one person to another. So the community centre should be a home, it should be a hub for everybody. And we strive that the whole of the community has something that's accessible to them that they can join in and be part of. And that's what X7 is all about. X7 Academy uh, started 13 years ago now. We have karate, we have Bulgarian dance, we have messy play, we have, um, you know, uh, worship groups. So we have a real mixture of activities here in the community centre. So everyone from parents to young people have something they get involved in or that they may enjoy. Well, our mission is to provide a safe and stimulating place for children and their adults to play, to learn and to interact. The Toy Library has been running in the borough for the last 46 years. We were set up by a group of health visitors who were concerned um, about the lack of play opportunities. You know, having this space, it's, we don't want finance to be a barrier to anyone. We want it to be available for everybody. I just want it to be a really, you know, amazing family space with all generations, all ages mixing. And we also really want to help support the sort of lowest um, income families in our community by making sure play is affordable. The other, you know, beauty of coming to the toy library, it really has that sort of social, um, you know, sort of impact that you're meeting other people and, you know, and then you're having conversations with people about things that you might not have thought about, you know. It really does, you know, bring people together. Because you live on a council estate doesn't mean your values change. Your values are all the same. Everyone wants to look after each other and they care about each other. So that's the benefits of living in, in, a, in I think, in a council estate or uh, houses that are close to each other is that you do really get to know each other. You become a family and I think that's absolutely priceless. Ninety-five percent of regeneration is going to happen, but I wouldn't want it to happen because I wouldn't want to move out of my house. You know, what I mean, that's my home, and uh, as you say, I ain't going to get nothing like that. They're not going to build nothing like I've got in my house now. You know what I mean? 
when these was built, they won an award, these houses. We've got two bedrooms. Fortunately, I, we can't sleep together, me and my wife, because I've got crippled knees and uh, like I need the whole bed and things like that. So uh, they want to put if they want to put you in a one bedroom place, it's not going to work. You know what I mean? Got a big kitchen, got tables and chairs in the kitchen. You more likely ain't going to have nothing like that in a regeneration flat. And I think if it goes forward and this happens, I think it will be a totally different estate to what it is now. And that's what I'd like to see. And I mean, I'd like to be part of it, but obviously when being in here 19 years, you get so used to the place. But yes, the security, the togetherness with people, you know, where everyone is out looking for each other which is, you know, everybody helps each other. So this is, this is, yeah, yeah. A place to be, to, to live and feel happy. We need a place that allows us to breathe. We need a place that allows us to play. We need a place that allows us to smile. Those things are the most important things. We need green spaces because we're all human. People need spaces to meet and they need spaces to be able to come up with their own ideas about what they, they want to do. To redo the pipe work and that, to keep these blocks up, will cost too much money because they would have to knock certain parts of the wall down to get to the pipes. So the best bet is to knock the building down, restart again, the rats will disappear. Um, and the place should look a lot more better than what it is now. Uh, obviously it's not nice bringing children up in blocks of flats, you know what I mean, but unfortunately people have got to do it. I'm getting old now, you know, so it's more likely for the, uh, the middle-aged people really now, like for them to come up with the sort of ideas of what they want for their children and uh, bring their generations in what they want. Thank you.